Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Photoshop and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some cool stuff. What I'd like to do today guys is show you how you can change hairstyles using generative fill, the new option, a new update that are available to us in Adobe Photoshop very easily. Okay, what you'll find is you may get an image and you want to change the hairstyle of the main model or person within your image. And because of this new generative fill option, it's very easy for us to uh, to do that. So as you can see here, I've got this image of this man. And what I'd love to do now is change the hairstyle uh, of what he has at the moment. So first of all, I'm going to use my lasso tool here. And I'm just going to make a loose selection around the hair like so. And then what should happen here is this little taskbar should appear and we have generative fill. So let's say, for instance, I type in Afro hair. Let's say we press generate. Sometimes it takes a couple seconds, guys, to, uh, to generate. But as always, I say persevere because the results are pretty impressive. And what you'll find is it'll give us three different options for us to choose from. And also as well, if you're not happy with the first group of three, you can just simply change it and manipulate it again. So this is our first option here. Like so, let's move over this taskbar. Let's come through. Probably say that's the best one there so far. And you can also change the prompt. So I might say different hairstyle. Generate. Yeah, again, persevere. And what happens is they create a three extra option for us. So it's very easy if you just then just to go think, and then you've got six options to choose from. Yeah, again, patience is a virtue, guys. Just bear with it. That one's a little bit too funky for myself there. That's not too bad. Or that one there. But I'm pretty happy, let's say, with our second one within our first group. Like so. And what you'll notice, guys, it creates a generative uh, layer and we can just simply just change and have a look at the end result. And there you have it, guys. That's how you, you can different uh, change different hairstyles within Adobe Photoshop. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at bluesquaregraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and see you next time.